Hi guys, my name is Natalia. Welcome back to Skin at Heart, the energy in you. In this video, we're going to talk about letting go. We're going to talk about the power of letting go. Uh, this is a technique uh, and the science behind this technique. So basically letting go applies to anything. It may be a relationship, it may be a karmic situation, it may be a uh, a feeling, it may be an emotion, it may be um, a pattern, it may be a habit, uh, it may be a thought. And uh, the technique uh, allows us to actually uh, release the energy behind whatever attachments we are having. Uh, the book Letting Go, The Pathway of Surrender, it was written by Dr. David R. Hawkins, who dedicated uh, most of his life studying this, studying the human uh, brain and the human uh, psyche. And uh, uh, he arrived to the conclusion that uh, letting go was a powerful technique uh, for anyone who wishes to feel better and to achieve uh, long-lasting joy. So basically, uh, letting go, as the name <laughs> indicates, uh, consists of letting go of... Um, the energy of the emotion. Emotion, like the word indicates, e motion, e in motion, so energy in motion. Uh, emotion represents energy in movement. That's basically what emotions are. And what happens often is that we are not aware of it and we are unable to deal with it. And therefore, we, we block that emotion, we, we prevent it from moving, and that creates blockages uh, in our minds, in our emotional system, and often in our bodies as well. Since everything is connected, a lot of uh, physical symptoms come from constrained emotions, come from blocked uh, feelings. In the book, Letting Go, Dr. Hawkins starts by describing what emotions are, and then he explains how human beings use three mechanisms to um, not deal with emotions. So the first one is suppression and repression. So we, do, we repress when we are not aware of it, when we are unconsciously doing it, and we suppress when we are aware that we are doing it. But basically the mechanism is the same. It is repressing or suppressing the emotion, kind of like blocking it in order to avoid uh, dealing with it and, and, and feeling that energy. And the second mechanism uh, human beings often use is uh, uh, escape. So escape uh, is done, well, it's basically the whole uh, spine uh, of uh, the entertainment industry. It can be done through shopping, it can be done through watching movies, it can be done through sex, it can be done through um, uh, TV shows, anything that kind of just entertains us and, and keeps us away from actually dealing with the energy we're feeling within, uh, it's, it falls upon the mechanism of escaping. Uh, it can be like watching a movie, it can be doing YouTube videos. <laughs> uh, it's anything that basically keeps us occupied from actually handling the energy of the emotion. And then the third mechanism that Dr. Hawkins refers in the book, it's expression. Expression is uh, um, talking about the emotion. It's kind of like expressing the emotion, but in a way that it actually prevents us from dealing with the energy of the emotion in itself. Uh, he actually has an expression, which is don't think about it, just stay with it. And, and the same would be, don't talk about it, just stay with it. Just be present with that energy, let the energy go instead of kind of um, expressing it in a way that will just create, uh, that will just enhance the emotion and that energy in itself. Uh, this was misinterpreted and misunderstood uh, due to Freud's work, uh, who said that um, neurosis was created by constricted uh, um, emotion by 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 locking it up and therefore people immediately understood that if suppressing the emotion uh, was the problem then expressing it would be the solution but that's not actually what uh, Freud's work uh, defended uh, Freud's work defended that then the emotion should be neutralized handled into um, creative and positive 
uh, vibrational ways of handling it. And, and that's very far from what expressing the emotion uh, has become. So basically, these are the three main uh, escape mechanisms that human beings use to get away from the energy of emotions. Dr. Hawkins goes in details through each of these mechanisms. And then throughout the book, uh, he presents the map of consciousness and he goes uh, one by one by the energy of each emotion, explaining uh, what each one uh, is. He, he also kind of graded them in terms of vibrational frequency. Since this is energy, it is possible to measure the frequency. He has presented a scale of emotions that starts from shame, uh, the, the lowest vibrational frequency emotion uh, on the 20 Hertz, and it goes all the way up to full consciousness. But there's a particularity about this uh, map of consciousness, which is the lower vibrational states, they start in uh, shame, which is 20, and then they go all the way up to pride, which is 175, then followed by courage, which is kind of like the point of transition between negative emotions and positive ones. So we have these first ones until 200 Hertz. And then from there, after courage, it comes neutrality at 250, then willingness 310, and so forth all the way up to 1000, which means that the lower vibrational states, they are all concentrated uh, in uh, uh, lower than 200 Hertz. Uh, and it means that from 200 up, everything is exponential, which basically explains why positive emotions are much stronger than negative ones. Dr. Hawkins gives the example of illuminated masters, the presence of whom are reported amazing things like healing, sudden healings and uh, other uh, similar events. Uh, and basically this is because the energy, it's so much higher because it's exponential. It's so much higher than lower uh, frequencies that uh, it makes it much more powerful. He explains this further in another book called Power Versus Force. It's actually the book he wrote before letting go. Let's just say that letting go is how you apply it yourself, how you apply the technique yourself. And Power Versus Force is the whole science behind the technique, although it does go into the science part in letting go the pathway of surrender. But Power Versus Force is only focused on the scientific research that has reached these conclusions. So uh, this also explains why uh, only a few percentage, you only need a few percentage of people to actually be aware and raise their consciousness and that affects uh, the rest of humanity. It's because of uh, the power of these uh, frequencies. They are exponential, which means they are much higher than, than lower vibrational states. It also explains how come we are affected by the collective unconscious. This was Carl Jung's work. Dr. Hawkins also addresses this in the book and he, he basically explains this scientifically. Dr. Hawkins also explains um, karmic propensities. Sometimes people are just kind of, they keep repeating these patterns and they wonder where does this come from and it does explain this it does explain this frequency through kar karmic propensities this is also something that uh, um, dr bruce lipton talks about in the biology of belief where he addresses epigenetics and how we can actually shape our dna um, but he explains it from a, a different uh, standpoint but basically the conclusion is the same which is uh, we uh, have an active role on the way we um, handle this by focusing our thoughts, by, by actually releasing the energy of the emotion and letting it go and therefore reaching higher states of uh, vibrational frequencies, higher emotional states. The karmic propensity, it just it may mean that the person uh, is more exposed to a certain energy or, or it has, let's say, created a vibrational uh, frequency that it's like a signature but that doesn't mean that the person can get out of it it is possible through awareness and and through the technique of letting go to actually um, 
uh, let it go and <laughs> and raise uh, the frequency. So basically the technique consists in being present with the energy of the emotion. Yeah, it's that simple. <laughs> it sounds really, really simple. But if you try it yourself, if you, if you actually try to be present with the energy of the emotion, you will notice that in the beginning, our minds will do anything they can to escape that energy. Our minds, our bodies, we're not used to live that. We're, we don't really want to live it. And therefore, uh, the mind tends to get away from it somehow. But the technique is as simple as being present with that energy, observing it and letting it go. And when we actually do that, when we actually start being present with the energy in our bodies and breathing through it, we realize that it, it is possible to let it go. Uh, it is sometimes there are emotions that seem a bit overwhelming, that seem bigger than us, that seem that they like they will never end. But the truth is, if you allow yourself to live through it uh, emotionally and sometimes physically, like crying or 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 somehow shaking that energy out of yourself, you, you will notice that as you let go of that energy, you create space to uh, get into higher vibrational frequency levels of energy. So this is definitely an incredible book. It was a life changer for me uh, because it does present the scientific explanation on the energy of emotions and how to handle them uh, and basically the secret to a happy, uh, peaceful life. I hope you get curious about actually reading this book because the book is really good and it's really clarifying and very helpful. Uh, and for those of us who appreciate the science behind all of these uh, uh, manifestation techniques or feeling better techniques, this is definitely a turning point that explains a lot about our nature. So I hope you read Letting Go, The Pathway of Surrender by Dr. David R. Hawkins. I hope you find it very useful and inspiring. I hope you apply it in your life and see the results for yourself. So if you like this video, do a like for me, subscribe to my channel and up until my next video, be happy.